Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how you can create a memory game using the same Find Me Animals that you used in the previous activity, okay? If you didn't watch the, the previous video, please watch that first. But this is like you can do also. If even though you didn't do the previous one, you can do also this one. So to do this, to prepare this memory game, you just did this sheet with the Find Me Animals, okay? And also, you need to print tries for you to have this each of them in the book, okay? But, and then you cut, you can ask your kid to cut all the squares like that. But if you leave like that, it's going to be transparent. So it's not going to be able, you know, it's not going to be work for memory game because the kid can see on the back what's the picture. To avoid this, we need to cut and space some black paper. You can use anything that you have available, okay? Just need to be darker than this white paper, okay? So after you cut all the pictures, you need just to cut this small paper, colored, and paste in your picture, okay? You can ask your kids to do that. They're gonna love to do this. So, paste, let it dry, the next one. Okay, after you do that with all the pictures, you can, after they are dry, you can just ask the kids to play and how they play they turn all the pictures facing down, upside down like that. It's amazing if you have, for example, uh, siblings, so they can play together, even different ages, they love to play this game. Or the kid can play alone, it's not a big deal as well. So you face down all the pictures. You can also show your kids to be organized and, for example, facing down all in an organized way, okay? Simple like that. You're gonna, you also practice their organization skills. So the game is memory game, okay? You ask the kid to turn one, so, and you ask them to tell you what's that, car. And then turn, they can choose one more, sheep. And the rule is, if they turn and they are different, then they, they turn off again, both. And if they are playing with another kid, it's turned off for the next kid. If he's playing together, they can go again, okay? The rule is, if they take different, they turn off again. If they take the same, they keep, okay? So again, they can choose two, and you ask them, sheep. And then they can check, no. Turkey is not the same, so turn it off. And then they can go again, chicken and chicken. So in this case, they were lucky. So chicken, both chicken, they keep, okay? The kid who find this, keep for them. And then the next kid are the same, depends how much, how you're gonna play. What's that? Goat and horse. No. Good. Then if the kid has a good memory, they're gonna know it's here. Good. And then they keep. Okay? Then you continue playing until all the pieces are finished. Okay? When if you're playing, for example, brothers and sister or two brothers or two sisters, if you're playing in team you can count how many each of them has, okay? 
if they have a tool, so you can also practice their counting skills with this game. So this game, you are practicing the language skills for them to say the name of the animals. They are counting their, they are practicing their organization, their memory, and also their counting for them to know how many they have. Okay, they can count the pairs, for example, two pairs, or they can count the cards. Sometimes it's this one, two, three, four cards. Okay, and this is also a team player. It's very nice to practice in the turn, the waiting. Okay, it's a really, really nice game to give to our kids and they usually love it. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching.